the a priori algorithm generates all frequent item sets, right? So whose support is greater than or equal than uh, some, some given threshold. And we're going to do it uh, as follows. So first we're going to generate sets with one item, then with two items, then with three items, and so on and so forth. Um, so first we're going to go through all one item sets. So find the support of each one of them and only include those whose support is bigger than or equal than the given threshold, right? So the, the rest of them, we just discard them, throw them away, right? So then we are going to take those um, item sets that we generated in the first stem, uh, step, right? And then we are going to form two element subsets of, of this um, F1. Find the support of each and include only those whose support is uh, greater than or equal than the threshold. So then we are going to get a uh, F2, the set of frequent two item sets. And then we are going to do the, basically the, the same thing. So we are going to generate all three item sets from F2, uh, find the support of each, and include only those whose support is greater than the given threshold. And so on, and then we are going to, to just continue, and then uh, the final result is going to be just the union of all this. Uh, yeah, so when we do this in R in practice, usually we also specify when we should stop, say, that we're going to stop at, say, I don't know, uh, item sets with just five items, so seven items, so 10 items. But hypothetically, we could just go on until uh, we don't find any new um, item sets. So let, let me go through, uh, through a specific example in detail, right? Okay, so here is, um, uh, here is uh, a set of transactions or item sets. And um, I'm going to find all item sets with support at least 0 0.4, right? So if support is at least 0 0.4, uh, it means that the row count is going to be, so there are five um, transactions here, right? So the row count, so the support is at least 0 0.4, it means that the row count should be at least two out of five. And usually it is more convenient to uh, to calculate and report the row count than the support. Well, at least in, in, in small um, baby toy examples that um, we're going to do by hand. Okay, so let, let, let's start. So K is one. So if K is one, then there are uh, uh, five one item sets, A, B, C, D, and E. So, and then we're going to find the uh, support count of every one of them. So A, A, one, two, three. So the support count is three, B is one, two, three, three, C is four, D is one, and E is also four, right? And we are looking for everything whose support count is at least two. So, so we are going to take out D. And we are going to include A, B, C, and E. Okay, so now k equals two. So k equals two. So when k equals two, right? Uh, basically, we just need to try all possible uh, combinations of two out of uh, four frequent item sets that we obtained in step one, right? So if when k equals two, we're going to try all possible combinations of a, b, c, and e. So we should try a, b. We should try a, c. We should try A, E, right? So we should try B, C, uh, then B, E, and then C, E, right? So the total number is four choose two, which is uh, six. So A, B, so what is the support count of A, B? A, B is just, just one, okay. A, B, the support count is just one. A, C. A, C um, will look at all uh, rows of the, this matrix where um, in both columns A and C, we, we have one. So it's the first row, second row, and third row. So the support count here is three. So then A, E. So what is the support of A, E? The support count of AE. So we're going to look at row three and row five, right? So two. 
Now B, C. B and C, we have two. B, E, we have B, E, we have three. And C, E, we have also three. All right. So at this stage, uh, we have ruled out A, B, right? So we can rule out A, B. All right, so now let us try um, combinations of three items. So k equals three. All right, so we should, um, how do we do it, right? So we should uh, begin with uh, some two item set, let's say AC, and we will try to add one, well, more items to it and see um, if we can rule out any of it. So A, C, so what else can we add? So if we add B, then we're going to have A, B, and C. So let, 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 let me show you. So if, say, we add B, then we are going to have A and B together, and we have ruled out A and B. So we shouldn't even bother going through it because we definitely know that the support is um, is going to be less than, less than or equal to one, right? So we shouldn't even bother counting this. So, Okay, D is out. So D is out because we ruled out D in the one um, case equals one. So A, C, so D is out, so we can try E. E, yeah, it makes sense to try E. Okay, A, C. So the next we can begin with A, E, A, E. And then when we add B, it doesn't make sense because A and B are out. So C, if if I add C, then I get again A, C, which again, so doesn't really make sense to count it twice. Then if I add D, then D is out, so I shouldn't even bother adding A, E, trying A, E. So if I begin with B, C, all right? So I'm, again, I can try adding um, more items one by one. So A doesn't work out, A, B, C, D doesn't work out, E. B, C, E, this actually may be helpful, so we should try B, C, E. Okay, so then B, E, so we begin with B, E. Um, we add, try to add A, doesn't make sense because A and B are not a frequent items, uh, item set. So B, C, E, we have already considered, we have already listed above, so D doesn't make sense. So this is out. And same for CE, right? So if you write uh, CE, CE, then if you try to add, I'm uh, sorry, CE, if you try to add a, a, then it's already listed above. Uh, if you try B, then it's already listed above. Then D doesn't make sense because D is not frequent. Okay, so just, just two of them. Uh, and we should count the support of both of them. So A, C, E, so A, C, E. So let, let's do A, C, E first. So A, C, E, A, C, E, A, C, E, A, C, E. So the support count is two. Okay, now B, C, E, so B, C, E. So where do we have B, C, E? So B, C, E, B, C, E. Okay, so the support count is two, okay. All right, um, k equals four, k equals four. All right, if k equals four, then the only thing that we could hypothetically try is a, b, c, e, because d is out, but a and b together are also out, so we shouldn't even bother. So there, there is nothing on, on step four. Okay, so this is all. These are all. Uh, item sets with support at least 0 0.4. So A, B, C, E, so there are four one item sets. A, C, A, E, B, C, E, B, C, E, so there are five two item sets. And A, C, E, B, C, E, two three item sets. Okay, so I didn't need this uh, page, but you, you could probably write some, some notes on, on this page, so I'm going to leave it here. Okay, and here is a little quiz for you. 